since I, I was a child, I, I wanted to do a musical that was not like the Hollywood ones, where the magic sort of didn't, you know, if you didn't have to be American with a lot of money and look great to have magic. It was something that everybody can do in their own kitchen, you know? And, and, and that, you know, if this was a musical, like, we would stand up and, 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 and play the chair and, and, you know, throw that in the ceiling and I would sing and you would sing and, and it, we could only use what we have here. There would not be extra, you know, things. It's sort of the whole thing is for the love of Selma, you know, and which of course is, um, you know, funny because she doesn't exist. Mm -hmm. But but, uh, but that that's kind of why, and that's even why I finally I accepted the role that Lars kept offering me was maybe, I mean, I'm a very stubborn person. I would have said no for another 10 years, easy, you know. But I kind of fell in love with her, I guess, a little bit and felt she needed defending, you know. my cells just started changing one by one and I just became Selma, you know. So I think I was her 24 hours and my friends would come and they wouldn't recognize me being the most sort of idiosyncratic person they've ever met. And suddenly I was moving different and doing little different things in my house, like little habits and stuff. And, 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 but that was sort of something that took a long time, you know. And, and, and by the time I was acting, I wasn't thinking about it at all. Yeah. It, I was just Selma and, and I was just waking up and I was just killing a man and, and, and feeling like I killed a man, you know? Which to a certain degree people could think of being is quite naive, but, but I, I also, I, you, I, that's, that was the only way I could do it, you know? Uh, I felt very secure with the fact that um, uh, the sort of integrity of our work because I could feel it and we both could feel it and, 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 and it's like it's a very strong feeling it's sort of something's just a lot bigger than you and, 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 and it's, it's a you, you, you can't do anything about it the only thing you can do is just go with the flow you know you can't fight it really and and, and I mean, we both talked quite a lot about that, that there was, I mean, I've connected with quite a lot of people creatively, but I mean, I think Lars has said this to me, this is the strongest kind of connection he's ever made with, with, with an actor or actress or a, because it, it was kind of almost scary because it was kind of bigger than us, you know, and, and it wasn't about Lars and Björk anymore, it was just Selma, you know. What, what, what do you admire about Lars? What, what, what were the good things about working with Lars? Um, I guess his um, uh, integrity and his kind of uh, absolutely uh, not uh, capable of compromising and, and, and sticking to his, his vision. I mean, what was difficult was that he's not used to like things like demos and stuff so so he would hear something and then he would say no and then you would hear the same thing a month later and he wouldn't recognize it and 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 then you would just go ahead and arrange it anyway and record it with the orchestra and he would say oh this is fantastic why didn't you play this to me before <laughs> and and you just kind of find it cute uh -huh. but but I think in that sense um, I mean, we both knew, we were completely honest about that, that I, I don't know how to act, I've never done that. I'm completely ignorant, you know. What, what do I do? Do I learn my lines, you know? What, what door should I open? You know, I, I didn't know anything, you know. And that's where he protected me. And, and, and so, where, so on the music front, I mean, it was quite obvious. I mean, a lot of the things he said, I just had to kind of ignore because I knew he would dis describe 100 things and I had to go for a you know, thing 23 or something, and pick it out, and in that way sort of protect, um, you know, be responsible for the final outcome. Mm -hmm. Lars wanted me to kind of do all the lyrics and actually sort of improvise them 
that's how, what we started like. But then I felt in a way to lose my ego a little bit and to make it Salma's, Lars should write the words. And then Lars went off and, 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 and for me it just sounded too much like a police report because there's a very different, two different things like what you can say, like pass me the butter please, and what you can sing. The heart of the whole film was the, this, I've seen it all, the train song. Um, when uh, I asked Lars, you know, kind of, so where's the love song? <laughs> and he's like, there's no love in this film. And so I ended up sort of, I, I mean, for, for a woman of that age, I mean, that must be her first standpoint. And the rest sort of falls into place around that. And the fact that she didn't want love, she she was she could have had it if she if she wanted, but she didn't want it. That has to be the the core of her, you know. I mean, as a as a as a as a woman. Oh, Catherine was amazing. Yeah, she was very protective, and when I had become Selma completely. And it was just, I was just kind of like burning and, and, and it was quite fierce. And, and, I, and, and I knew this was the only way I could do it, was just to go all the way and, and, and sort of ask her. And, and she would be all like, I wouldn't have done it this way, but just go, girl. You know, everything is absolutely fine, you know. And to get that sort of uh, uh, an okay from someone who's experienced as her and worked with all the directors there are, you know. It sort of made me go, okay, just jump in even deeper, you know? Mm -hmm. All the other actors were very helpful. And, and, and I, I talked quite a lot to them because the whole experience was such a sort of a mind-blowing thing for me. I mean, I was very curious about everything and also very seeing how they worked and also how differently they worked, mm -hmm. you know, and asking them questions all the time and... And I mean, like, like uh, David Morse, it's like, amazing to see how he works, you know? 